Yeah. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. We been through a lot. Lord's willing, I'm getting my spot in the kingdom. We winning, no sinning, we not. I'm sending no praise to the man that's up top. Hey. Hey. Yeah. I just been thanking my God. 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 We been through a lot. Lord's willing, I'm getting my spot in the kingdom. We winning, no sinning, we not. I'm sending no praise to the man that's up top. Hey. Yeah, I just been thinking my God, yeah. 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 Why do the heathen rage? Cause we the anointed and I just been praying like every day. I need to meditate. And what is important for me to survive in the daughter race? Why everybody vain? They want us up in that cage. I feel like sending lame. I'm about to bring a change. Christ coming back, they gon' swim in flames. And I got this heat fall to my chest. Is that the name of Israel would no more be in your remembrance. So what did they do? When they colonized them, they said, let's call this entire group of Israelites Nigeria. Hey, Shalom Israel, Most High in Christ, Blessed Deacon Abiel here. We are here in Kumasi, Ghana, and I am completely blown away. As you can see behind me, we have the new school. It's in construction. It's being built from the ground up. Everybody's putting a brick in, y'all. It's your turn. Donate, donate, donate. As you can see where your money go. We're not pocketing your money. We're not driving expensive cars. We are doing the work Most High got put in our heart to do, just like in the book of Nehemiah. You guys out there in all the countries watching, you've been the key to this taking place. Without your donations and your help, we wouldn't be where we're at now. You understand? The Lord says, as you know in Ezekiel, build sanctuaries. This is the first of many Lord's world that we're building. Put your brick in. We need your donations. We need your help. As you all see, this right here is fulfillment of prophecy. The scripture says that this gospel of the kingdom is going to be preached unto the whole world as a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. What you see right here is fulfillment of prophecy. Put your brick in, twiddling your thumbs. Those of you all that's not here, ain't boots on the ground, you have a way to help. you have. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 27. Read. And the Lord shall scatter you among the nations and you shall be left few in number. Among the, heathen. the Lord said he will scatter us among all nations. Who did that happen to? Is there any race of people on earth that you can look today that were scattered among all nations? Who in history did that happen to? What is he talking about? He's talking about slavery. Slavery, how we scattered among. How did we get to America? See here, see on this side. Judah, what does he say? What does he say? He say American blacks. How did blacks get to America? You have to wake up. You are the Israelites. This is really the causes that pertain only to one people. The Israelites. That's what we are reading right now. He says, the Lord will scatter you. Read one more, read one more time. Listen to what he said. Read it one more time. So we are going to show you. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 27. And the Lord shall scatter you among the nations. And ye shall be left few in number among the heathen. He said the Lord will scatter you among the nations. And you'll be left few in number. How were these Israelites scattered? True slavery, cargo slave trade. I'm going to show you that now. Just give me a minute, we'll show you that. Read the Tommy 26 as a state. Read this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all the people from the one end of the earth, even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve all our gods. He said, When we get to these other nations, he said, We are going to serve other gods. Which other gods do we serve today? Which other gods do we serve today? We serve. The white man, Christianity. That's what he's talking about. Read it one more time. Can you continue? Read? And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth, 
even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither God nor thy fathers have known. Even wood and stone, he said we are going to serve other gods. He said we are going to stop serving the true living God. The true living God of the Bible. What is it? Did we go right today? We went to buy. What is Jesus Christ in the Bible? What color is he? Black. He was what? Black. Do you know that? Did you know that? Do you know that Jesus in the Bible was a black man? Move, come forward. Come forward. We are going to show you today. Today is your day. We will show it to you. The Jesus Christ in the Bible is not a Yibo man. It's not white man. Jesus Christ is not a white man in the Bible. He is a black man like you. Let's read that. Revelation chapter 1, verse 1. This is the book of Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him, to show unto his servants things which will shortly come to pass. What? Things which will shortly come to pass. He said, he's about to show you a revelation. Now we're about to reveal something to you that has been eating for ages. We're about to reveal something to you that has been eating for years. Now you're going to know. Let's read it. Verse 14. Verse 14. Return of verse 10. Verse 10. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet saying, I am Alpha and Omega. Who is Alpha and Omega? Who is Alpha and Omega? Let me ask him. Do you know who Alpha and Omega is? Who is Alpha and Omega? The Alpha and Omega is the Lord. Jesus. He said he saw some, a voice. He said a voice spoke to him. And the voice sounds like Alpha and Omega. Let's read on. The first and the last. The first and the last. That's Jesus Christ. Read. And what thou seest, write in a book. He said what you see, what I'm about to show you now. Write it in a book. Which book did he write it? We are reading the book now. What he wrote there, we are reading it now. Read. Verse 12. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me. Read. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. He said he saw seven golden candlesticks. What is seven golden candlesticks? If you count that candlestick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He said he saw seven golden candlesticks. We are not reading. We are reading the Bible. Read. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, he said in the midst, in the middle of the seven candlesticks, what did he see? Let's read what he saw. We are reading the true image of Jesus Christ that has been hidden from us for years. That's what we are reading now. We will be told lies. Days of lies is over. The years of lies is over. Now you are going to know the truth. The truth of the Bible. Now you will know it. We will show it to you now. Read. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. He said, I saw seven candlesticks. Read. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. Who is the Son of Man? Jesus Christ. Read. Clothed with a garment down to his the foot. He said, He had a long garment down to his foot. Jesus Christ had a long garment from head to toe down to his foot. Let's read what he looks like. And get about the path with the golden girdle. He had a golden belt on. Read. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Now he's describing the way he looks. He said the hair on his head and the hair on his face were what color? White. He said the hair was white. Jesus Christ had a white hair. Like what? Like wool. Like wool. Why else of people have woolly hair? Why else of people have wool? You're not cutting wool now. Cutting wool. How does cutting wool look? You see, or you people, do they have woolly hair? This Jesus Christ here. Yeah. This Jesus here. Yeah. Do they have woolly hair? Is this woolly hair? No. This is straight, long, stringy hair. This is long hair. Stringy hair. But Jesus Christ in the Bible, what does his hair look like? Why? You forgot him. He has forgotten. What did he use to the jury? Like what? Like white. Like what? White. Like white. Brother, brother in blue. Did you read? Did you hear what we said? Like read it one more time. Like what? Like wool. Like wool. What is wool? Cutting wool. Black hair. Black hair, like my hair. Like your hair, I'm saying now. Like this brother hair. He said Jesus Christ's hair was like wool. It wasn't long, it wasn't weave. 
He said like weave. You don't know how weave our sister is to wear. Jesus Christ is not like that. He says that's like your hair. Read on. As white as snow. Yes. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. He said Jesus Christ's eyes were like were red. His eyes were red. Give me why his eyes is red. We will show you why Jesus Christ's eyes was red. Genesis 49 verse 12. Let's read it. The book of Genesis chapter 49 verse 12. His eyes shall be red with wine. What is this about Jesus now? This is a prophecy about Jesus that is coming. He said his eyes shall be what? Red with wine. Which of this one? Is that see his eyes? Red. Black people, if we drink wine, Nigerians, when we drink wine a little bit, what about our eyes? When you smoke, it will be red. It will be what? Red. It will be red. He said Jesus Christ's eyes was red. Which why? Because Jesus Christ drink wine in moderation. Jesus Christ's first miracle. Oh, Jesus' first miracle. He turned water into what? You know it. Sister, you know it. He turned water into what? No Don't be shy. Don't be shy, sister. Speak up. He turned water into what? Into wine. He turned water into wine. So his eyes was red a little bit. Now let's go back to the description. Read. His eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass? He said Jesus Christ's feet was like brass. Brass is a color of brown. Brass is a derivative of brown. If you look at my skin right now, this is brown. He said brass. Now let's see how brown it was. Whether it was light brown. Whether Jesus was onyibo. Whether Jesus was light skin. Let's see now. Read. As if they burned in a furnace. He said Jesus was so black. He looked as if he was burned. We are reading the book of Revelation, the revealing of Jesus Christ. The Revelation chapter 1 verse 14. That's what we are reading. We are reading the same, uh, listen brother, 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 we are listening, we are reading the same Bible you have in your house. The same Bible you have in your church that they have refused to teach you. That's what we are reading. Read it one more time. His head and his ears were white like wool. He said his head and his hairs were what color? White like wool, like sheep's hair, like black people hair, black wool, read, as white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet like unto fine brass. He said the color of Jesus' feet was like fine brass, brown. As if they burned in a furnace. If his feet is brown, what color is his hand? What color is his face? Is your feet and your hand and your face? Is it not the same color? It's the same color. Jesus Christ is a black man. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in the furnace. He said the feet look as if it was burned in fire. That's how black Jesus Christ was. He said he was very black. Very black. Think about the most blackest person you've ever seen. He said Jesus Christ is like that. But when they give us, they gave us this one. They gave us this one. Why? They lie to us. Because this is the truth you are hearing now. You are hearing the truth. Give me that. John 8, 32. We are teaching the truth of the Bible now. The truth is coming out. That Jesus Christ in the Bible is not on you, bro. What you saw inside the movie is a lie. Nation is men leading by example.